In this video, I will show you how you can figure out the framing square measurements if you need an exact angle, something like 22 degrees, 27 degrees, or 35 degrees, instead of the odd angles you usually get if you use a 5 and 12 roof pitch or even a 6 and 12 roof pitch. And the angle for a 6 and 12 roof pitch is going to be 26.6 degrees or if we want to take it one more decimal it's going to be 26.565 degrees so almost right in between 26 and 27 degrees and that would look something like this on our framing square where we're going to have a 12 and a 6 lining up on the framing square to create a roof pitch of about 26.6 degrees now what if I wanted to create a 28 degree angle for my roof pitch? And to do that, let's go ahead and break out our calculator. And to do this, I'm going to need a scientific calculator with the trigonometry functions. And I'm simply going to enter the amount of degrees that I want and then push the tangent button. And then I'm going to multiply that by 12 because I'm going to be using a 12 unit measurement on the framing square. If I wanted to change this unit of measurements, I would simply enter that number in. So let's go ahead and multiply this by 12. And that's going to provide us with a 6.38 measurement. So instead of using 6 on the framing square, I'm going to use 6.38 as a decimal or convert this to a fraction, which would be just a little bit over 6 and 3 8 inches. And that would look something like this on the framing square. 12 unit measurement down here, or 12 inches, along with 6 and 3 8 inches on the other side of the framing square. And I do have other videos on how to use a framing square to lay out roof rafters. Make sure you check those out at our website if you need a little more information about using a framing square to lay out a roof rafter. And if that makes sense, you can stop watching the video. If it doesn't, I'm going to go ahead and take a 30 degree angle here and see if I can create the roof framing ratio for you. Now a 7 and 12 roof pitch is 30.256 degrees. And the number we're going to be looking for is just going to be a little bit under 7 inches. So let's go ahead and grab our calculator. We're going to enter in 30. We want 30 degrees. Then we're going to pull up our tangent key. Your calculator might have the tangent button right on the front of it. Then we're going to push this button and then multiply it by 12. That's going to give us 6.928 inches. Or we can round this off to 6.93 inches. Or about 6 and 15 sixteenths of an inch. And to convert the decimal to sixteenths of an inch fractions, we can simply start by dividing 15 divided by 16 equals 0.9375 and that's pretty close to the measurement we're looking for if we're going to use the framing square to lay out our roof rafters if not we can use the exact decimal we can take it to hundreds or thousands on the decimal to calculate the exact length of our roof rafter